According to a 2016 YouGov poll, only 43% of Americans know that, that, that Puerto Ricans are U.S. citizens. 41% believe that they're not. But Puerto Rico has been an, an American territory since the end of the Spanish-American War in 1898. For the 400 years prior to that, it was a Spanish colony. In 1917, the Jones Act officially made Puerto Rican residents citizens of the United States. And in 1950, President Harry Truman signed a law that officially made the island a commonwealth under U.S. control. In spite, of the, in spite of that fact, Puerto Rico is a commonwealth of the United States and its residents are U.S. citizens. Puerto Ricans don't get to enjoy many of the benefits that come along with American citizenship. For example, they aren't allowed to vote in the U.S. presidential elections, even though they do hold primaries for the presidential candidates. They have a representative in Washington, D.C., who isn't allowed to vote on, leg on legislations or other issues. And they don't receive the same kind of federal financing as other states. Of course, residents also don't have to pay a federal income tax. They have their own constitution, and they still get the full protection of the United States military. So while there are obvious drawbacks and benefits to being a commonwealth rather than an official state, residents on the island have typically remained divided about whether or not they want to officially join the U.S. as the 51st state. Or at least there was a deep divide until predatory bankers from the financial institutions like Sandanter got their hands on the island and created one of the worst financial disasters in modern history. If Puerto Rico were a state entity, for example, it would be allowed to get out from underneath its massive cloud of debt by declaring bankruptcy. Instead, the U.S. House of Representatives has appointed a financial committee that's forcing regressive austerity measures on the people of Puerto Rico. But things could change in the near future. Earlier this month, voters in Puerto Rico approved a measure requesting statehood by more than 97 percent, but only 23 percent of the population actually showed up to vote. Nevertheless, the measure is now going to be presented to Congress, who has the final say in whether or not Puerto Rico can officially join the Union. To become the 51st state, Congress would have to pass a statute to admit Puerto Rico as a state, and that's a conversation that has been going on now for decades.